Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to talk a little bit about the sheer mercies of David. Hallelujah. David, King David, who wrote the Psalms, many, many, many of the Psalms, and David had the sheer mercies of God upon his life. And David is, he was a man that had so many faults and failings and so much sin and just, you know, he, he was a murderer, you know, a conniving, he was a, he was a conniving, calculated murderer. He was a, an adulterer, you know. David was a blasphemer because he took the name of the Lord God in vain. He misrepresented the Almighty Jehovah with his life. He was a, truly a man after God's own heart, for sure, because that's what God called him. But in his old nature, in his own way, in, in David's makeup of the old man that he, that he was, he was a wicked, vile, sinner see but see David he was that man after God's own heart and in David is represented to us today you know, the sure mercies of God of Jehovah and of the grace hello, the riches of the grace of Jehovah is communicated to us through the Son of David, the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And many people today are stuck on themselves. They think they have to work to make it in to the kingdom. They think they have to do something. Okay. See, when you get saved, truly saved, and filled with the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. When you get truly saved, then you automatically do the works that Jehovah has prepared for you to do in His Son, okay, the Lord Jesus Christ, from the foundation of the world. See, the works just come and just, they just, they're right there and you just begin to do the works because you are saved, okay? You are filled with the Spirit, see? And God, everything God does is good. See, So His children are going to do good. They're going to do good works. They're going to have good actions, good thoughts. Okay. Now, that old nature, oh, it tries to get a hold. It tries to get a toehold, a foothold every day. You've got to be on guard. You've got to have your shield of faith up. See, You've got to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. See? The wicked one, Satan and all his hordes speaking through the mouths of the false believers, of the false, wicked, vile New Agers who think that they can do something to become divinity, who think they can do something to become pleasing to God. When God says, hey, you got to die. you got to die to yourself. you got to take up your cross and follow me. That's what the Lord Jesus said. Jesus Christ is God, Almighty God, in the flesh. Hallelujah. See, and He right now is at the right hand of the Father with a flesh and bone body. And He commands all men everywhere to repent. Hallelujah. See, and believe the gospel. It's the gospel of His grace. The gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Believe it. See, but most people don't want to believe it. I want to read this I found this part of a paragraph uh, in an article I was reading this morning by T. Austin Sparks, which is a very anointed man of God who wrote and centered his whole ministry on the exaltation, hallelujah, of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, which is what the Father does, hallelujah. The Father has exalted one. He has exalted one man, hallelujah, and that's his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to this little paragraph here. He's talking about David here. 
He says, David had sinned the sin which put him beyond the pale of the virtue of all the Levitical sacrifices. If you read the sacrifices and the conditions, you will find that they do not cover this sin. They have no provision for this. Even the cities of refuge, hallelujah, which provided for the manslayer, would not take David in, would not take in David, because the manslayer who found refuge there was the man who had caused someone to die inadvertently without premeditation, by accident. So there was no provision for him. A man who had premeditated, planned, schemed, and brought about a death, the city of refuge had no place for him. No sacrifices provided for him. Therefore, no sacrifices provided for him. Therefore, see, David had no, he couldn't go offer a lamb for the sin that David, he couldn't do this, see. He was condemned, see. According to the Levitical law, David should have been taken outside and stoned to death, you see. See, you see what I'm saying? He, he should have been killed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this Psalm 51, David says, Sacrifice an offering and burnt offering thou desirest not. It is no good. I have not any. He was out of the pale of all their sacrifices and their virtue by premeditation. Oh, how far this man had gone. No wonder his conscience made him cry out like this. Uriah's death, murder, lies at David's door. And the little innocent babe's death lies at his door. What are you going to do with a man like that? What are you going to do with a sin like that? It is outside the pale of all God's mosaic prescribing. Hallelujah. What answer have we got to this? How can this man escape? How can glory be the end of that? There is only one answer. And there is an answer. Grace. Hallelujah. Grace goes beyond all Old Testament limits. Hallelujah. But if you don't believe in it, if you don't believe in the one who is grace, the Lord Jesus Christ, if you don't believe and say, Lord, you know, and beat your chest and say, I'm a wicked, vile sinner. I deserve hell. I deserve death. Please forgive me, Lord. If you don't cry out to God to give you that repentance, to give you that knowing that you're a hell-bound sinner, then you're going to hell. Okay? You need the grace of God in your life. You need the grace and the sure mercies of David in your life. And they come to you by the Lord Jesus Christ, who did say, it is finished. See? It is finished. It's all summed up in Christ. You cannot add to the work of Christ. Okay? You cannot come in now and Jesus did the work on the cross and, and poured forth His blood, His life for the world and now come in and, and add the law to that. See, He fulfilled the law. He is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. See, there is no time with the eternal Almighty Jehovah. You people who think you have to work your way into the kingdom by the law, you need to repent before it is too late. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.